Saturday, February 27, 2016, and uh, today I'm undertaking a Norfolk County Council Bitten Line walk, um, eight miles approximately, circular. Uh, it's about three o'clock, darkness today. About got walking time up till six, so I need to get my skates on, uh, particularly with a dodgy hip. Let's see if I can do it. It's a cold grey day, about three degrees, a bit of a breeze, but otherwise, uh, let's press on. This is the North Norfolk Railway, walking past the uh, Silver Jubilee Memorial. As we approach the clock tower, with its self-explanatory blue plaque, built in 1862, often used by the local PCSOs. Hit the front, and you get a load of artwork, murals. tides out at the moment. In the distance, I don't know if you can see that, you've got the uh, horrific wind farm. Very cold wind today. Coast Park for a little way. What is described as toilets in the uh, information leaflet is now called the Wee Retreat and is a holiday home. There you go, past the Wee Retreat. Very nice holiday home conversion. Excellent views. Past Beeston Hills Putting Green. We're now uh, ascending towards Beeston Bump, which I've recorded on a previous walk, Sheringham Circular, I think. New addition to the signage these days. Norfolk Coast is uh, Norfolk Coast footpath is now one of the early parts of the England Coast Path. So here we are, back on Beeston Bump, one of the Y stations. Decent views round about. Our onward journey is over towards the port of uh, Beeston, across the common. There's the old trig point again. Views over towards Cromer in the distance. Longest one at eight miles. So here we are back on Beeston Regis uh, Common Nature Reserve. I did film these uh, information boards previously for the Sheringham Circular, of which uh, we are currently walking the reverse. 
direction by the looks of it. So as I said, we're on the coast path here. We're following the blue marker for the circular walk. Next to this caravan park. Interesting uh, fauna and flora here in season. As you can see from that list there, which you might need to magnify. To see little bug hotel in amongst the bushes and the gorse crossing the railway line looking back towards Sheringham station you do get steam trains on this line going into the uh, North Norfolk Railway they have to cross over the road junction down there At this juncture, Beeston over there on the right, Beeston Hump, we go down this little lane, which I haven't been down before, next to some allotments on the left. When I did the Sheringham Circular, I came from that direction. So that's interesting, new territory. All's up for that. Little gra organic grub here. Railway line at this point is at shoulder height, so just as well the old train's been and gone. Eight of the uh, walk instructions turn right, and we're about to pass by Beeston Priory. Plenty of duckweed in the uh, pond in front of it, probably what was a moat, I don't know. No, not a moat, probably just supplied the priory with water. Not much of it left internally. So there you go. Uh, some idea of what it would have looked like in years gone by. Probably find this all on Google. Interesting. Not in this world, as they say, but in Norfolk. Yeah. Garden centre on my left, which uh, does excellent food. Particularly uh, wide vegetarian range, I seem to recall. As you can see, Priory Maze. Got a cafe that's open presently. Okay, now entering Sheringham and Beeston Regis Commons, SSI. And as you can see, it can be particularly wet underfoot, and I'm not wearing boots today. Got the old walking shoes on instead, so let's uh, keep fingers crossed. Luckily, all that water was just the uh, end of this stream. There's the pond on the right, and following the blue footpath marker, we're up here through the mud. Interestingly, since I did this walk a few weeks ago. Uh, been some work done here, lots of gorse gone. Norfolk County Council are very good uh, with their footpath work. Here's a tourism uh, urn though. Some lovely views here as the sun sets. Surprisingly deep, that little uh, bog there. Mm, just goes to show. Could drown out here. 
wonderful for birds this place. Likely home for the very rare cuckoo I'd have thought. A clutch of the dying embers of snowdrops. I say that because we're almost out of February now. They won't be around much longer. Lovely harbingers of spring. Apparently introduced by the uh, Romans, I think. Might be wrong there, but uh, not native. Nice mixed forest section here. Very old. That orange moss again. Prevailing wind from the northeast, I presume. As opposed to the southwest up here. That lovely house is coming on since I did it uh, a couple of weeks ago. They've landscaped the gardens now. Whipped out a few trees by the looks of it. Certainly spending some money on it. Also good to see since I did a Sheringham circular. That tree's gone. As I say, a very good uh, Norfolk County Council. Probably because these paths are used regularly. Left to break down, all good homes for nature. Crossing over another footbridge, point 12. Sorry, make that point 11. Looking past Sheringham pumping station again. It's half past four. So I've been going hour and 15, I've just about done three mile. Behind on the pace. Entering pretty woods. So that is the right turn that we don't want. More woodland walking. At this point, uh, I'm assuming I'm on the right undulating path through the woodland because uh, I didn't see the footpath marker referred to in the text at point 13 pathfinder access trail but there was a second stone almost identical to the first one so I turned right there because that was about 100 meters further on so let's see what transpires running out of time so I need to get this right now back on track at point 15 of the text but point 13 is uh, wrong currently, needs uh, amending as um, I've done a rather circuitous journey in the woods and it's put me behind. So it'd be touch and go if I get finished now, it's just gone five and unfortunately Leicester City have won. 89th minute goal. Oh dear down this uh, old greenway towards Upper Sheringham. The village of Upper Sheringham coming into view amidst the gloom. About 15 minutes it's uh, officially sunset. New village sign erected for the Diamond Jubilee. And as you can see the church there in the background. Interesting feature here. Not quite sure what this would be for. I'm sure someone can tell me. And translate the date when it was uh, built. Boris Johnson, maybe. Now entering uh, National Trust Sheringham Park, which I suppose is officially closed at sunset. Need to get through here though. There you go, first time I've recorded one of those for a while. Wonderful grounds here in the uh, gloom again. There's a the hall over there, Sheringham Hall. You 
can just about make out Wayborn Windmill there in the distance. It's at this time of night when all the creatures come out. And already in my left ear, I can hear deer or something large in that wood there. There's a famous gazebo, uh, Sheridan Park gazebo, which I've been up before and unfortunately we don't have time to ascend today. But uh, you can see the very rare, I think it's the emperor butterfly, the one that floats above these oaks. Now, out in that field there, just as I said, there's a deer. And that isn't a monk jack. That looks like one of our native fallow. Monk jacks can be quite vicious, so I read. He's got wind of me now. There's one eating there. That is a monk jack. Sneaking off. There's the fallow. A couple of them. Yeah, stag, I think. The pillbox. Not sure what that is out at sea. Hopefully we'll get a closer view of that shortly. improved road crossing here. When I last did it you had to walk down the uh, road for a couple of hundred metres. Got down this greenway over the poppy line along the Norfolk coast path and then we're done. Over the poppy line there's our destination. The bright lights. Excuse the wind actually a fishing vessel. Amazing. Got the red lights there. The uh, Sheridan Array, the wind farm. Vessel going out to service it. past the Coast Guard lookout at Sheringham. Now very dark. So here we are, three and a quarter hours, just under nine miles later. Uh, that extra mileage being because I got lost in the wood at point 13. But uh, otherwise I'd been back in the twilight as opposed to the dark. It's up past six now. So, good walk. Bit and walk number 10 completed. A uh, nice variety of coast, not that you saw much of that because it was in the twilight. Woodland and um, common, very varied walk. Highly recommended. Hip aches a little bit, but nothing untoward really. Get home now for a nice bowl of soup. Lovely.